One thing I hate is creating things from scratch, so let's build some reusable assets. I will try doing this on a regular basis to grow my library, which will be available on Patreon. Today, we are going to make water waves, and here is a quick demo of how I will be using it. After you make your asset, you can add it to your asset library, but I still find it too much work creating libraries and sorting them. But you could do that. Me, on the other hand, I'll use my own asset library because it's much easier to find things and doesn't take up too much space while I'm working. For example, in this case, after creating this asset, I saved it to the library as water waves so I can search that and bring it in to build scenes quite easily and fast. So a scene that would take me hours takes me a few seconds because I'm not starting from scratch. And it's not just models you make yourself. For example, I can go to Sketchfab, search for something like a speaker, download it and use it in a project like this. As long as this project is saved, I can add the new model to my library and close Blender. So now, whenever I want to use that model, I can search for it in the asset library. As long as the original project is still on my computer, the add-on will find it and get that object with all the materials and animations it may have and bring it in here. It will just copy it as it was in the original project. So if that object had animations, it will be copied over with animation. This works for whole collections and materials too, which saves a lot of time. So today, let's build this water wave and add it to the library as well. The way we're gonna do this is by adding animated noise to a well subdivided plane and using materials to make it look like waves. So add a geometry nodes modifier and add a set position node. Then a noise texture. Connect the noise color to the offset of the position node. Subtract 0.5 from the noise to center it, then add a scale vector to control the strength of the noise. Add a subdivide mesh for more resolution. You can set up the environment using an HDRI or a sky texture to see how the wave material will look in different lighting. Then, create a material for the water. It's going to be a simple reflective shader with transmission. To animate the noise, connect the position node to the noise texture and geometry nodes, and add a scene time node to continuously move the position of the nodes. To control the speed, multiply the time with a lower or higher value. If you want to control the direction of the noise, add a vector rotate to the position. Now you can control where the waves go by adjusting the rotation angle. You can add all the values you want to control as inputs in the group node to control everything on the modifier level. There are so many things you can do to add detail to this. As you can see, I'm also creating more reusable assets like this fog plane that I'll be able to animate in the background to show strong winds. I created it by mixing an emission shader with a transparency shader. I also added a translucent shader as a backup in case I don't want to use emission. I also went back to the waves and animated some noise over the water material for extra detail. And that's it. I now have two reusable assets, water waves and the fog background. As an extra, I created this project as a use case for the waves, just to show you how you can use the asset in your own project. If you want to check out the project, the links are in the description. I recommend using the Asset Library add-on over the Asset Browser because it's faster and easier to get things into your scene. Just search and add. All links are in the description. Let me leave you with the time-lapse of the final project, and you can tell me what other reusable assets would you like to see me make for you.